What is going on, YouTube? Uh, pop that off. Fogging up, can't see too much, but the law's the law, right? All right. <clears throat> so today, I'm gonna have another little quick talk for you guys. Um, straight talk or thoughts from the truck or I don't know if I'm gonna name these things yet. Um, but anyway, just gonna pop on here and talk about something that I was thinking about um, the other day um, and it popped back in my head this morning. I wanna talk about the importance of reviews. So for me, reviews are the utmost importance. Um, when you think about it, like when you go shopping online like Amazon and you're searching through products and you see one you like and you click on it, one of the first things we do, one of the first things I do is I scroll all the way down to the reviews and I check what their star rating is and I read what people ask, you know, questions. I love that section. Um, so thanks Amazon for that. Cause I always have a lot of questions when it comes to tech and stuff. Um, but the reviews is huge. And a lot of times like one bad review can turn somebody off, um, from purchasing. It's the same thing with your business. You know, you want to try to have as many good reviews as you possibly can because that's what people are looking at. I mean, when they type into Google and uh, they see a list of painters in their area, um, hopefully you're on your Google thing and uh, you pop up pretty early. Um, if not, I'm going to do a, a talk about marketing, um, different marketing tactics that I use, um, some that I don't use that I probably should use and some that I know that I don't want to use. Um, so we'll get to that later. But um, when you pop up on their Google search, you're right on the sidebar and immediately right there, you can see what the star rating is. Um, for me, I've been blessed um, and I have all five star reviews. Um, and then people, a lot of times will click on those and they're going to read what people said about your work. Um, so it's very important to do a good job, obviously. Um, punctuality is huge for me. I think um, responding to customers quickly um, and showing up to the estimate quickly, like on the time that they say, um, there's nothing that irritates me worse than when I have an estimate and I'm running behind. Um, I can't stand pulling up to an estimate late. Um, and if I'm not on the dot, I need to be early. Um, because it's nice if you pull up on an estimate, um, they're waiting for you. You know, a lot of times these clients might have, you know, blocked out a schedule of their time to have you come there and then you're not there on point and then you're there late. And then, you know, I get a lot of jobs because a lot of my competitors aren't there at all. They just don't show up. I don't know what their story is, but for me, it's super important to get there. If I can get there early and they're sitting there waiting, looking for me and they see my truck is out there and I'm in here just jotting down notes, you know, that's a huge deal. That's first impression. Um, first impression, I think, is huge um, when it comes to sealing the deal on reviews later. Um, so punctuality and a good job um, and actually asking for a review. That's where I fall short a lot. I think I would have a lot more reviews and I would have a lot more good reviews if I reached out to these customers early enough. Um, I always mention it on the way out. Um, sometimes I plug it throughout the job here and there, um, but you don't want them to feel like that's all you want. Obviously, you're there to do a good job, um, but it is. It's something that that you as a painter find value in when people actually like you enough to leave a review. I mean, I know for me, I don't leave reviews um, I think I've left like two or three reviews on something. So like for me, it would take a lot to take time out of my day again to go and type up a review about something. Um, so to have a client be happy enough with your work and, you know, your professionalism to take time out and then write up a review is huge. Some of the ways that I get that done, like I said, I mention it throughout the job here and there, like say I'm on a big job and we do a couple things and, um, you know, one of them might be like a real detail oriented thing. Like for me, a lot of times that's cabinets. We're in there painting the house or painting the kitchen, but we're also doing the cabinets. Um, and when we're talking about the process and we're talking about it while it's getting done, I always let them know, like, look, if you're happy with this process, like 
let people know in the reviews when you leave one. Um, and then on the way out, like I always let people know, um, you know, if you're really happy with the work and you really found some value in what we did here, please go ahead and leave a review. And almost all the time they ask like, okay, where can I do that? Um, for me, I like to um, give them as many options as I can, but I stress Google. Like I said, I already use it as an example. Um, I stress Google because that's like the top search engine. That's that's where people go to find answers and find what they're looking for. They go into Google and type in painters near me and you pop up, like I said. So for most of my reviews to be on Google is top priority. Um, it's also the easiest, I think, for people to just type in my business name. They already know it. Um, and if there's other companies that have similar names or whatever, there's no confusion because of the way I brand and because they already know me, they know my information, my email, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then all they have to do is click the little, the review thing and start typing. Um, that's assuming they have a Google account, but that's also five seconds to set up. Um, other ways that you can get reviews are, you know, through social media. Um, I don't get a whole lot of reviews through there. Um, most of my clients are, you know, older and they're not really on social media like that, but people have said things on Facebook, um, or home advisor. Um, I'm not going to dig too deep into home advisor because I'm going to do a whole talk on just home advisor alone. Um, so look forward to that. Um, but that's also one place, like when I am taking jobs through home advisor, um, home advisor reaches out to them and asks how the job was done and they can leave a review and then they post it. And what's great about that is their posts show up on the Google listing. So when it says I have 18 reviews, five of them might be from home advisor and they're the ones that they see first. Um, so that's good too. Um, so basically what I do is when I'm done the job and I recommend, you know, my top place for them to leave me a review, that's that. And I leave the job and, um, within a short period of time, we send out an email kind of nudging them and reminding them. And then it has the links in there where they can leave reviews. Um, depending on, you know, your field or your area or what you are using for marketing, I think you should try to get reviews on as many platforms as you can. You know, Home Advisor, Angie's List, even though it's now owned by Home Advisor, um, the Better Business Bureau, um, a lot of the elderly community go on to Better Business Bureau and check there. If you're not accredited and you don't have good reviews, they're probably not going to hire you. So that's a whole section of clientele that you're not tapped into. Um, so that's a good place to start. Um, but there's just anywhere that you can find, you know, a person. That's where you should also be so that people can leave reviews and they can get information about you and so on and so forth. Um, so the places that you're most likely to be found are the places that you want to be, you know, mostly aimed at for your reviews. I just thought that this would be a cool thing to talk about because, you know, yesterday when I was at the bank, um, my teller asked me, do you get most of your jobs through word of mouth or through referral? And I said, yeah, I'm, a, I'm almost at a hundred percent just referral. Um, and I say that because I don't, at the moment, use Home Advisor. I haven't used them for a little bit, um, but I do when I'm in a pinch. Um, and I'm not using other services that I pay for to generate leads for me. So the leads that I do get are A, from word of mouth, B, referral, you know, because somebody may have seen me while I'm painting their neighbor's house and they ask them and they say, oh, it's so and so and they're doing a great job, blah, blah, blah. Like, that's great. I need a lot of that too. Um, another quick tip, I always leave some business cards. When I go on the estimate, they get business cards. Um, and when I leave, they get business cards. I leave them three to five business cards. Um, and that way, if neighbors do ask, they can, they can give them cards so that the conversation doesn't just end. But anyway, so that's like a review on its own. And I also say that because when people do search painters near me, like I said, and they pop up with the listing and you're on that listing on Google and they read those reviews, a lot of times that's what seals the deal. And those reviews are from past customers, clients that you've done great work for and were, you know, over the top happy that you did the work and they took the time to leave that review. So that's still like a word of mouth. Um, whether it's not right, you know, consumer to consumer, it's, um, client has said something about you on the internet and a potential client is reading that and they're taking that as I should go with him. So. When I get estimates and I go there, I almost always ask, how did they hear about us? Because I like to figure out 
you know, what platforms they were on, how they searched, if they seen, you know, everywhere that I am. Um, and I can figure out if what I'm doing is working, um, if where I'm aiming at is reaching where I want it to reach. And um, that's all part of marketing. Good marketing is going to also lead to more work and more work also leads to more reviews, which also leads to more work. Um, see where I'm going with this. It's a full circle. But I think without reviews, you know, I could be side by side with another painting company and they could be really, really great. Like they, they're probably better than me. They probably provide services that, you know, I don't provide and they've probably been in this game for, you know, 15 years longer than me. And, um, but they're not attacking reviews. They're not taking the extra step, going the extra mile to try to get those reviews. And um, when you look at me next to them and I have a list of good reviews and this guy who's great and better than me doesn't have any reviews, who do you think they're going to choose? They're going to choose the guy that has people saying that I'm good as opposed to the guy that's almost a ghost and unknown. Um, unless it's, unless they, a lot of them, they're just based off of referral. Like they get a lot of just referral jobs. You know, they do a great freaking job somewhere and then their neighbor hires them because they saw how great the work was. Like I get a lot of that too, but I don't think that's, you know, good for sustainability. Like that's where guys are going to hit, you know, dry spots and that's where they're going to hit spots where they're trying to fill gaps on, because I just don't think it's sustainable to have everybody talking about you all the time enough to work, keep yourself working and let alone keep a crew or whoever working for you. So again, I try to reach out to these people afterwards. Um, I don't bombard them. You know, I give them a couple of days if I don't see that they've done a review. Also, another thing too is reviews take time sometimes. They need to be reviewed by whoever they're processing it through. Like Home Advisor, I said, they call them, they get the review, um, and then they try to accredit it, basically make sure that it, it's true. Um, because it's really tough when I, when I ask a customer to leave a review on Home Advisor. If I didn't get the lead for that job from Home Advisor, they might just think that I'm getting somebody to leave a review on Home Advisor. Um, so they call and they check and make sure. Usually through the email works. Um, or a lot of times, like I have a lot of repeat customers. They were obviously happy with the work, um, and the way we carried ourselves and they hired us again and I still didn't get a review, I just keep asking. I just keep letting them know. And, um, you know, after a certain point, I really stress it to them. Like, listen, like, I appreciate all the work that I'm getting from you. You're obviously really happy with the work. Um, it would be extremely helpful if you left a review. It takes five minutes on Google and you leave that review and that's really going to help me get more work. Um, usually when you put it like that, I mean, it's not that I'm like begging for it, but it's like, I'm really stressing it. Like, you know, I'm doing a lot of good quality work for you. I want you to let people know. And a lot of times that works. Um, I think that's why I've been so successful with the reviews that I have. A lot of times, like I said, when I ask where they found our business, I can figure out if it was Google, they just searched me in Google and they obviously saw the reviews then. A lot of times they say you had great reviews, your pictures were great. They look, this is all marketing stuff, but this is all stuff that balls in. Like I said, it balls into getting a good review at the end of the job, which turns into more work. So yeah, I just really want to stress like just doing a great job, right? Just showing up on time, just asking, you know, are three easy things that are going to get you reviews, which are three easy things that are going to add to three more jobs maybe really doesn't take a whole lot on your part aside from doing a good job. Now, if you're not doing good quality work and you're showing up late and, or your crew's showing up late, um, you know, that's, that's not going to get you good reviews. Um, another thing I noticed too, it gets me in trouble a lot, but I have this thing where I feel like I have to be on the jobs to make sure that they're done right. Even though I don't, I trust in my guys, I tr especially, you know, my foreman, I trust in him to get the job done right and get it done in a timely manner. Um, in most cases, there's some things that I just, I have to do myself. Um, but I feel like customers view that in a certain way. I have clients ask me, are you actually going to be on the job or are you just going to have a crew here? Um, and that can give them a bad taste in their mouth immediately. If you say, no, my crew will be here. They feel like they're not important enough. Um, so I at least try to pop in. If I have another job going on and I have to check in on something else, try to show face, try to pop in there. Um, a lot of times people buy into you. Um, if you, if you do provide good work and you're confident in your service, you should have no problem sealing a deal on getting the job. Um, 
but then you got to back it up. Um, but I think that that's one thing that helps me get a lot of reviews. A lot of my reviews start with my name because they're saying Jesse and blah, 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 or Jesse is professional or so-and-so, you know what I mean? Um, they're buying me. They're buying what I sold them. They're buying the trust in me and they're buying the ability that I'm telling them that I have. So that's just another quick tip too, you know, sell yourself and you will get reviews and those reviews will get you more work. Um, but yeah, it's great to see good reviews from customers because then you know, because sometimes you might feel like, oh, I could have done better. Or maybe I should have done this instead. Or, But then if they leave a review and you're like, okay, I think we were good. I think that was good. Um, they just let you know. Um, and that helps gas you up to keep you going. So reviews are great. I love reviews. Um, I depend on them to get me more work. And so should you. If you like these, you know, talks from the trucks, my thinking out loud, um, my straight talk format of these uh, topics, let me know in the comments below. Um, just like reviews, hit that thumbs up because that helps circulate the videos that lets me know you like the content and it helps other people know that they should probably take a look because they'll like it too. Um, so that goes a long way. Think of that thumbs up like a review. Um, but other than that, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you can see when new content comes out. I have a whole bunch of different topics coming up and um, you know, marketing is definitely a big one on there. And then there's also going to be, you know, some of the other things that I kind of plugged at today. So hopefully you pop back on the channel and you can see when those come out. Until then, this is your favorite artist, Jesse. Hope to see you soon.